I thought it was an earthquake. Um, we immediately just ran to check on the dogs, the pets. That's all we had, three dogs and a cat. Can't find a cat. We were just asleep, that's all. We heard it about 7 o'clock this morning. Heard a lot of noise and that was a... I'm glad everybody's okay, but a lot of damage. I hope we can live here still, but we'll see what they say. About 7.10 this morning, we received a call for a house fire and uh, we arrived to find the uh, car behind me uh, well into the house, severe damage. Uh, fortunately, the, there were two occupants of the house. Both of them were uninjured. They have several pets as well. They were uninjured as well. Um, there's, we're concerned with the, the stability of the overhang uh, that the, uh, the truck went under. So uh, we uh, taped off the area and we're restricting access and uh, the building department's uh, en route going westbound on 6th Avenue. Yeah, it looks like a, a high rate of speed. The investigation is um, ongoing. Uh, there, it's uh, possibly uh, alcohol-related incident, and the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office is handling that. And as you mentioned, no, uh, no one was hurt? Fortunately, no one was hurt. The occupants were asleep at the time of the incident. They uh, said they thought their house was falling into a sinkhole. It wasn't that, but it must have been pretty startling. So what's the next step as far as the condition of the house? It's probably going to have to be condemned. We secured electrical power to it as a safety precaution. The building department will come out and assess it. Uh, in the near term, though, before the vehicle can be re removed, the overhang is going to have to be shored up somehow so that the record driver can safely get in there, hook up to the vehicle, and, and pull it out. So that's what we're waiting for.